Um, when you're taking care of a cancer patient, you have to take care of the whole person, not just the physical aspect, but also the soul, the mind, the heart. And um, so in that respect, there's a different kind of care that is also there that can't be measured by um, traditional methods. So I think one of the reasons why cancer patients do um, better today compared to the past is that the supportive care um, and the treatment of side effects has, has improved significantly. Cancer can be treated with surgery where the tumor is removed. It can be treated with radiation therapy or it can be treated with chemotherapy. Chemotherapy means drugs. Um, that's a very, very tricky question because if you separate the words, Chemo means drugs and therapy means treatment. So if you take an aspirin, that's chemotherapy. I tell people that chemotherapy is really just medication. Uh, now it's medication typically given intravenously or through the vein. Um, but sometimes it's also given uh, orally like other medications. And they do have side effects that are, are more pronounced and stronger than um, standard medications. But they're still medications nonetheless. The complications of chemotherapy are much less today than they were two decades ago. There are complications from surgery, infections. Better antibiotics have definitely helped us in minimizing infections following surgery. I think in terms of diagnosis, there's also more hope because there's more treatments. And um, with the technologies that we're doing today, um, we're actually able to start individualizing treatments as well. Over the last two decades, Advances in medicine have definitely improved the quality of life, enabling our patients to stay in the comfort of the home and receive the treatment as an outpatient. So each day there are new therapies that uh, are being developed that are better with less side effects and much more targeted. And uh, as a result, we're able to tell patients that there is hope no matter what type of cancer they have.